G'day everyone. This waterway behind me here, this is the Glen Rowan Recreation Reserve. It's just been stocked in time for the school holidays under the Victorian Family Friendly Fisheries Stocking Program. Let's go and see if we can catch a stocked rainbow trout. Now the Glen Rowan Recreation Reserve, this one here, this is relatively new in the Victorian uh, family friendly fish stocking. They used, fisheries used to stock Foster's Dam, a small little dam in Glen Rowan. It used to get 200 trout. It was only a fraction of the size of this. But in recent years, the water quality in Foster's Dam has sort of deteriorated. It's been low some years and it gets warm really quickly after winter. So they've moved the Glen Rowan stocking out to here, the recreation reserve. The recreation reserve, this is a big man-made dam right next to the football oval next to the footy ground and this is uh all this water is caught out of a gully that runs off the hills over there got him i'm on look at that i've been here five minutes and i've caught my first fish <laughs> i'm just going to quickly tell you before i land this fish this waterway and one jumping out here this has been stocked as part of a family friendly family friendly fisheries the predominant reason to stock this is to keep the kids active on the school holidays and for people with mobility issues people who uh you can't get around as freely as i can so i'm not going to keep anything i ever catch out of these waterways i just like to catch them get a photo put them back leave them there for the kids on the school holidays to enjoy <laughs> there you go buddy <laughs> I'll leave you out there for a kid to come and catch over the school holidays because that's what you're there for. I caught that on the Strike Tiger Nymph in orange spawn colour. I like these little uh, bright coloured soft plastics when I'm fishing for trout in these stocked waterways. Got him. <laughs> Number two. I'll see if I can get a better photo of this one without having the shadow of my arm in the photo. Alright. Once again, he's taken the nymph. This one's a bit bigger than the other one. Alright, let's see if we can get a better photo, mate. The last one was a little bit shaded by my fat arm. That might just cut your tail off there. I love these bright orange nymphs in some of these waterways. These stocked waterways. In the clear waterways, I love the black and gold nymphs. There he goes. Off he goes. He's thinking, what the hell's going on here? I've been in this waterway for half an hour and uh, strange things are happening. <laughs> Got Oh, I lost him. Had one on. Had. I haven't got him on anymore, he got off. We've got a rainbow trout bust up happening. And they are so willing to hit this dry tiger nymph and orange. Oh, there's a touch there then. They are more than willing to hit this bright orange dry tiger nymph. Got him. Is this one a bit big? Oh, he got off. I was just about to say, is this one a bit bigger? He got off. Did you see that? <laughs> they are climbing all over the orange spawn nymph. They're loving it. What a magnificent day. Just standing here in the sun, barely a breath of wind, and catching fish. Does it get any better than that? There's a little bit of background noise from the Hume Freeway right there, but other than that, this is just magic. Alrighty, I've changed spots again. What about here? It isn't there. Don't keep all the fish there for the kids to share, can't you see? They've been put here at school holidays for a reason. What about here? I wonder why they're jumping. Maybe because they're from the fish farm and they're used to uh, food being fed to them from above. Haha, <laughs> 
see if I can land this one. I lost the other one. Not a very big one. I reckon the one I lost before was quite a nice fish. I think it was a bigger one. As always, the one that I lost was the biggest one that I've hooked today. All right. Ping him in through the reeds there. The last two photos haven't been great, so I'm going to try again. I'm not a very good fish photographer sometimes. All right, come here, buddy. I need to photograph you in a way that's not going to have my uh, shadow in the photo. Oh, there he goes. I uh, was taking the last photo when he flipped and dove into there and I, I was just about to pick him up and let him go, but he got off anyway. I was going to uh, stand and face the camera to record this next thing, but I won't. I'll just talk while I'm fishing. By now, all of the family-friendly fisheries have been stocked for the winter school holidays. Not just this one at Glen Rowan. In this area, in northeast Victoria, we've got the Glen Rowan Recreation Reserve, which is this one. We've got Merriwa Park in the middle of Wangaratta behind the tennis courts. There's a number of little lakes in Wodonga. I think there's Feltimber Wetlands, I think it's called, and might be Les Stone Park or something. I'm not sure, but there's a number there. There's Lake Samble up at Beechworth. Allen's Flat Waterhole down at Allen's Flat. The Trono Dredge at Harrietville. Upper Sandy Creek Dam. Stanley Ditch Dam, or Stanley Dam at Stanley. All of these waterways have been stocked with fish, just like this one, just in time for the school holidays. So now is the time to get out. Now kids, if you go out and catch a fish in these waterways, if you share your uh, photo on Instagram, feel free to hashtag Robbie Fishing. And what I'll do, every once in a while, I'm just gonna go through the hashtags. God, oh, lost one. I'm just gonna go through the hashtags and I'm gonna look at all of your catches. I, uh, if you send them to me in a, in a message, a direct message, a DM, I may not see them because I get a lot of messages and I just don't get a chance to look at them all. But if you just upload a fish to your fish photo to Instagram of your stocked fish, your, your school holidays trout, hashtag Robbie Fishing, I can then search the hashtag and just go through and look at all the photos. So feel free to hashtag Robbie Fishing in your uh, trout photos. And isn't it, for everybody watching, isn't this just fantastic? At a time in our lives where there is so much negativity, there's coronavirus, there's a lot of racist stuff in the news, there's unemployment rate, recessions, there's all kinds of rubbish going on, and yet a kid can still come out here to a waterway, stand in the sunshine and catch a trout. Isn't that just absolutely fantastic? Completely switch off to all the problems of the world, come out to one of these stocked waterways and catch a trout. I just love this, this family-friendly initiative, and I've got one. I love this family friendly initiative and I thank Victorian fisheries because I think there's nowhere else I would rather see my money as a fishing license holder go than to uh, provide the opportunity for kids on their school holidays to come out here and enjoy doing what I'm doing now and yes I am the biggest kid in fishing I'm having a blast mate thank you for taking my nymph it wasn't exactly what I had in mind with the release but it worked. The hook's out of your mouth and you're back in the water. <laughs> I've come over to the other side of the lake here for no other reason than just because I wanted to change the scenery. <laughs> I was in the local pub the other day enjoying a cold beer and with all this coronavirus stuff, you know how a lot of people are wearing those dust, those sort of face masks? Well, one of those face masks walked into the pub with a set of jumper leads. And I went up to the bar and they said, well, they have one beer each, thanks. And the barman says, I can't serve you. And the mask said, why? And the barman looked at the mask and said, well, you're off your face. And then looked at the jumper leads and said, you look like you're going to start something. <laughs> right, yeah, thanks. Now I'm back at the car and I'm heading home. I've had a wonderful time. Now, all of these family-friendly waterways have just been stocked. They stock them in time for the school holidays for a reason, and that's to motivate the kids to put down their PlayStations and get out and go fishing. So think of the kids and the people with wheelchairs and walking frames before you uh, harvest too many fish out of these wonderful places. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, I want to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.